Hi. Hello. So, uh, how did you choose the, the actors of the movie? Um, well, I guess I, I uh, the, the, the film is, uh, is a drama, and yeah. it's, um, it's very much, it's a very talking film, <laughs> and it, 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 it's very much a performance-led. It's, it's all about the actors, really. Yes. And it, it really needed really, really good actors to make the writing, the sensitivity and the nuances work. And, um, and I, I've been a fan of Ben since I saw him in, in Perfume. And, uh, okay. and I, thought he was, I thought he was so good in that film. It was such a good film. And, it, and his character carries so much grief and pain on his shoulder. And he has to be so vulnerable and yet have this um, strength in the vulnerability. I, I, I thought he would, he would be perfect for this part, really. Um, and um, so, so we, we sent the script to him and Pepe. I mean, Pepe is like a legend yes. in the Far East. She's like, I grew up watching her, her film. And, uh, and her most famous film, I guess, in the West is Crouching Tiger, and Dragon. And, uh, and I, yeah, I des desperately wanted to work with her. And we sent the script to her manager as well. And she, she accepted. Uh, yeah, she 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 really liked she liked the script and yeah. she they both, yeah they both said yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, yeah we we had a few interviews. You know, I had a Skype interview with yeah. Pepe, and I met up with Ben for coffee, and then um, yeah and then they they both said they would work on the project. And for the other actors, for Richard and uh, no Richard is Ben. Uh, so yes, uh, for for Kai. Yes. Yeah. So we found him in audition, and okay. uh, Van, the translator, we found her in audition as well, and in a, a kind of open casting, we found her. And for the character of Alan. Oh, Alan. Oh, he's a really uh, in England. He's really famous as yes. well. He's he's almost become a national treasure, I think. And um, yeah. So again, it, we just. You've got PP and. <laughs> I know. It's, it's a bit. Yeah. It's a bit <laughs> mad. <laughs> Two legends in the movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, how did you work with them? Uh, did they make some real sales? Or... Uh, real sales. Uh, the actors between them. Uh, how they worked with? How do you work with them uh, before the shooting? Yeah, we, we had. They, they gave us two weeks of rehearsal, mm -hmm. and uh, we we spent a lot of time just talking about the script. There was a lot of discussing just so I wanted to make sure that everybody and that we all understood what was going on and then we rehearsed some scenes and some scenes Ben and Pepe didn't want to rehearse uh, some of the more emotional scenes they didn't want to rehearse we just read through it and then uh, and they wanted to keep the, the emotion more alive and fresh when it came to shooting and then um, and then I think for my own confidence I, I wanted to just uh, at the end of rehearsal, we would just just get to know each other and go out for a drink, just uh, so we can all feel comfortable with each other. Because uh, the movie is uh, inspired by your own experience, so how did you manage them on the set? Oh, it's it's it's, it's fine. I mean, it's it's, it's a film set. It's yeah. uh, they're, they're very professional people, um, and we um, everybody just I think just were just very professional and, 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 and got on with it really. Um, so Ben and Andrew got uh, three scenes together in the movie and uh, we can see they, they are very close each, uh, each other from uh, each other and um, how do, do they, did they work uh, their relationship? How yeah, it's, it's a very good point. Um, I, yeah, they, they only have three scenes, and I, I was very worried whether three scenes was enough to yeah. to get the tenderness and the complexity of their relationship across. You know, the the one, you know, the the, the tenderness, the the sensitivity, and, and, and the nuances of, of a loving relationship. Yeah. And but at the same time, you can't. If you have too many scenes, you won't miss him. So yeah. he needed to, to, to be the right amount. If it's too little, it might not be enough. If it's too many, when he's not there, you don't miss him. And I want you to, I want people to almost miss him when he's not there. 
Um, we discuss this a lot in rehearsal when, and we rehearse on these scenes. I spend a lot of time, I probably spent more time rehearsing these scenes just to get the, um, just to get that, that loving tenderness across. And there was, there was some improvisation just to find a language that, that couples have. Yes. Um, so like when, when Andy brought his feet to his chest, these were the things that we, we discovered in rehearsal. Yeah, because uh, when we saw them on the screen, we seemed they they were together since a long, long time. Yeah, so. and that, 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 that was yeah. yes. Oh, thank you for saying that. That, that, that was yes, that right. was the intention. Yeah. Yes, and it's good. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it seems they they were together since ten years. Or yeah, yeah, and it, it, it needed it needed to have that love so that you could really believe his yes. his pain and his grief when when he really does miss it. Mm -hmm. Um, we can see there are two very important places in the movie, the apartment of Richard and Kai and um, the home where John lives. So how did you scoot that places? How did we find the places? Oh, yes, how did you find Well, it was, it, re it was hard, it was very, it was just so hard, the whole thing was so hard. <laughs> Uh, we found, I mean, uh, I wanted like a contrast because her yes. home is very, you know, it's a home, it's dressed in the 50s and it's, it, it should be really be also be claustrophobic, you know. Yeah. I know sometimes 50s uh, decor can be very beautiful, but when, when it's all 50s decor, it's supposed to be really oppressive and yes. claustrophobic. So, so when you go to Richard and Kai's apartment, the idea is that it has... A lot more space, and it yeah. opens up, and you, you should almost feel like a sense of kind of a, a breath of fresh air, yeah. so to speak. And yeah. uh, the opposite of the yes, the opposite really is the, the, the contrast of being being locked up and then being so open. Yes, and I wanted the, the, the two places yes. to have that. The, the, the place is it's like a, a freedom. It's like they are free, and she is very. That room. Uh, yeah, and it's very strict. The yes. rooms are very strict and very. Yeah, first, yeah, yeah. So the music is important in the movie too. How did you choose the Stuart and how do you, do you, did you work with him? The musician, the composer. The, the composer, Stuart, how do you, yeah, sure, do you yeah. find him? I, I, I saw him, uh, I saw, uh, I've known of his work through a few films and um, and I really, I guess I wanted to, I wanted to work with him. And, and before we went to shoot, I was talking to Stuart a lot about the music and, and it was all in my head, I felt, then I didn't think there was going to be a lot of music in the, in the script. In my head I felt, it probably doesn't need too much music. And then when we started editing it, uh, the editor then discovered that, you know, maybe we, we need a bit more here just to help the scene. Yeah. And, um, and then my, my concern is I, I, I get really scared when there's too much music because I think it can come across as over manipulative mm -hmm. and, and I think the story is, is, also, is very, um, it's an emotional story already so you, you, you want to try and find that balance where, and so I, I guess in the end I wanted a, 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 kind of music that's not too obvious, I wanted like a really sparse almost texture so that it, it's just in the background so you don't always know that it's music. Yeah, I, I wanted to find a more of a sparse piece of music mm -hmm. for the film. So, um, Kai uh, must bring to her mom a, a, a special song. Yeah. As, we, as I <coughs> said, the, the movie is, uh, is about your own experience. And uh, so that song, how did you choose it? Do you did you know it uh, before the the shooting? Uh? Yes, I, I I I didn't know it when I was writing it. I didn't know the song, okay. but when I was shooting it, I had found the song. Okay. Um, the song was important because it's um, in kind of Chinese culture and the kind of music that my mum listens to. She listens to these a lot of these old 50s songs and they're really famous songs but also 
And what she doesn't know is that they're also really, they're covers of Western songs, which are equally famous. Mm -hmm. And um, and I thought it'd be re really interesting to, is to find a piece of music where, you know, you have this woman who hasn't adapted to Western way of life. And yet the song that she loves is, is a very much a, a song that the West also knows. You know, you don't know mm -hmm. the lyric, but you know the melody. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought that was a really nice juxtaposition and I wanted to find a song that kind of almost I guess have a feet in the west and in the east so mm -hmm. to speak. So, uh, how did you had the idea of the character of Alan? You know <coughs> he's here, he, he, he brings a touch of uh, humor and he's... Uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, was, he was there from the very beginning. I needed um, because I wanted to talk about, I mean, the, the, the film, there's, there's a few points, the film is very, the film is a heavy topic, yeah. and it needs humour, and I think, or else it would just be too depressing. <laughs> so I think he brings the lighter touch, and, uh, but also with that is that I also wanted to talk about communication and language and the idea that, you know, we know language should um, bridge differences and bring understanding yeah. but I think also it highlights differences that we have kind of conflicts coming out of it and I, and, and I wanted to show two sides to the coin so on the one hand her relationship with Alan broke finished because of language and yet her relationship with Richard uh, she's found maybe a, 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 some kind of peace because of language as well mm. I wanted to, to show two sides to that coin I guess so, and when you wrote the script, the humor was al already here because, uh, as you said, the, the topic is very hard, it's a drama, yeah. so... Yeah, it was, it was always there. Yeah. It was, um, but, you know, I mean, you write it hoping it would be funny. I mean, yeah. I, I don't see myself as a comedy writer, <laughs> and uh, I think what... what, what what it does is when you have a topic that's very heavy and you bring a, a light humor, it, one makes the other really strong. So, um, it, it, yeah, it, it was always in the script that it needed humor because mm -hmm. it, it allows us those moments to breathe, really. Yeah. So, I read that you're inspired by uh, the movie Lone Star. Yeah. So, have you met the John Sayles? So no, I love to meet him. I, I really, I love his stuff. It's, I don't know, I, I, not many people talk about him, but I think he's an incredible filmmaker. Yeah. Uh, and he's always worked on the fringes. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, no, I haven't met him. So you, you, you didn't know if he saw the movie? Or? No, I doubt it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, you don't know. Uh, what, what director inspired you uh, to become a director? Oh, wow, yeah. Very good. Um, I mean, I, when I was younger, it, it was... It's all the kind of all the classic, you know, mm -hmm. like Fellini, uh, Fassbinder. But I think also there was a point in my life, I was very... When I was at art school, I, there was the fifth generation of directors that were coming out of China. I, I remember very clearly how, how I don't know, it was, it was just really, they really inspired me, people like Chen Kei, uh, Yang Zhi Mao, uh, they really, uh, yeah, they, 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 I don't know, it, it just made me feel like I could also do it. Uh, do you think you could work again with uh, all these actors? Absolutely. Yeah. It'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in your previous uh, movies and short movies, you talked about homosexuality too. Yeah. It's a, so I think it's a very important subject for you, an important topic. Uh, do you have another kind of topic you would uh, talk about to put yeah. on the big screen? I think, 
Yeah, I mean, hope is, is, is a very big thing for me and it's a very important thing for me. Um, and it's very important for me to try and show it in, in a way that, that mainstream doesn't fully, haven't fully shown, I think. Um, is, is to, 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 I, don't, I don't know how to describe it, I mean, it's, it sounds like a horrible word, but it's almost to kind of normalise it, you know, that, mm -hmm. you know, that we are all of these things. And more, and um, it is it, it isn't it is one of many things that that interests me. I guess I mean I think my my big struggle is probably about more to do with identity yeah. and how how one kind of find peace with that, you know. And and identity is obviously to do with sexuality, is to do with class, is to do with race, mm -hmm. and it's it's also to do with uh, you know that, uh, especially for somebody like me who, who um, is kind of bilingual. You know, who I don't, I I kind of have, kind of struggled with two different culture and two different world. Yeah. I I those are the things that really, I think those are the things that really, um, that I'm more interested in. So what, what kind of project do you have for the future? Oh, I, I don't. Um, the, the, the most immediate thing is I'm, I'm going to Vietnam next Wednesday yeah. to write, uh, to research and write the next one. Okay. And it's 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 a, it's a modern day film in Vietnam, but it's about it's about the Vietnam War, I guess. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, so uh, we talked uh, about homosexuality. So I would like to know if you have seen the movie Pride and what did you think about it. Oh no, I haven't seen um, it, but I've heard the story. It sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's and a it's, very good movie. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh god, it's because and it's a true story as well. Yes, I, I yes, thought yes. that's brilliant. It's such a yeah, it's a brilliant idea for a film. <laughs> okay. So. Brilliant. Um, thank you. Yeah. No, at all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.